because I can see that I'm so close. Who knows? Maybe the next video will be the last. Turns out this video won't be the last. I've still been going hard at the gym and being consistent, but I've gone through a vertical plateau and it felt as if my vertical has stayed relatively the same for a few months. After grabbing rim, I was expecting to throw down my first dunk soon. I had no idea what to do, so I relied on some TikTok comments to give me some advice. This one comment told me to go through a deload week, so I did. Multiple times in fact. What this is is essentially lifting lighter and not working out with the same intensity as usual for the whole week. This is supposed to help the body and the muscles recover to go even harder the next week. This is good for people who have been going crazy in the gym for a long time and just need a break. It definitely helped me. I felt that I needed my muscles to recover and after they did, I've been hitting PRs on my lifts pretty often. I've also made a set weekly workout routine. While before I was working out consistently still, I would sometimes make a rest day out of nowhere which would mess up the whole week. I set it up so that Mondays were going to be my jump days, Tuesdays are going to be my chest and shoulder days, Wednesdays are going to be my leg strengthening days, Thursdays are going to be my back and core days, Fridays are going to be for Nordics and tendon strengthening, Saturdays are going to be for plyometrics, and Sundays are going to be my rest slash core days. I've been following this for about 2-3 to three months and I feel like I'm at my strongest right now. I've been watching knees over toes guy recently and this guy is one of the best people to learn from not only from a vertical jump standpoint but for injury prevention and fitness as a whole. I've recently been doing Nordics since they're probably the best body weight exercise you can do. These Nordic hamstring curls can prevent hamstring strains and pulls which happen pretty often among athletes and can also improve your explosiveness and power. Though I've made all these changes there was still one big thing that I felt I needed to do lose weight this was extremely hard for me to commit to because the sole reason i even began working out was to gain weight i was skinny growing up and that was a main insecurity that i had for my whole life after working out and eating a lot for two and a half years i finally reached a weight and physique that i was happy about i went from a mere 120 pounds to 150 pounds within that time frame i wasn't considered skinny anymore by friends and family and i became confident i was satisfied and after all that effort I found out that it might be best if I was lighter. Now that I look at it, I was kind of counteracted to my goal of dunking. I wanted that bodybuilder physique, sort of like Michael B. Jordan's. I was actively trying to put on more weight and gain muscle mass while also trying to dunk which really doesn't work that well. To jump higher in the air, being lighter would definitely help tremendously. It was hard to decide whether I wanted to dunk or achieve my dream body, but dunking is what I've been working so hard towards for so long already. I know it's possible to achieve both, but because of my vertical plateau and not seeing progress in a few months, I had to at least try something new. So that's what I did. For the past month and a half, I've been going through a caloric deficit and more cardio per week to help me lose weight. I started eating a little healthier. I was sort of eating whatever I wanted to gain as much weight as I could. So I ate fast food and all that unhealthy stuff. It worked and I did gain weight, but it probably wasn't the best way to do it. During this new diet, I cut out sweets and sugar entirely along with fast food. I cut the amount of rice I ate which is where I got the majority of my carbs from. I was mostly just eating homemade food throughout this time span, and the changes I saw were kinda crazy. After about 2 months of this new lifestyle, I've managed to lose 10 pounds going from 150 pounds to 140 pounds. My body has changed so much going from a little bulky to lean and toned. I feel way more quicker and explosive since I have less weight to carry. I really thought I was straying away from my dream body by losing weight but it's done the exact opposite. I feel amazing. It's common sense that the lighter you are, the less force you need to get up in the air. But when you're lighter, it can also lead to decreased strength. It's possible that you have to sacrifice strength to get leaner. So I'm planning on focusing on strength training. I'm putting in effort to squat more, deadlift more, and even bench more than before while still being 10 pounds lighter. So these few months between this episode and the last episode have been me trying to find ways to break my limits, to tear my barriers apart, and to exceed my very own expectations. Incorporating new things, changing up my workouts, my diet, and my lifestyle. I hate that this is taking so long but why would I stop? 10 months in and I've made crazy progress. I wish I could have dunked sooner but life never just goes your way like that. This was basically a side quest that will make me better for the main objective of dunking a basketball.